All right, so while we have the 106B charger charging here, as you can see in the little uh, bottom video stream, I'm gonna show you something cool that you can do with this. It does come with the USB cable that can be attached to your computer, and there's software that you can download for it, and this is the software right here. What this allows you to do is once you sort of plug it in and connect it, you gotta go up to here to device, and then you select open port recording. In my case, this is what I wanna do. Right now you can turn on, like you can, you have all these available things that you can use. So input voltage, current capacity, power energy, cells one through six, these are if it's connected to the balance leads. And then the internal temperature and the external temperature, if you have the um, little cable, the thermistor plugged in. Okay, so you have your, now we have all these statistics that we can look at. And first is the input, this is the input voltage to the actual unit here. You can see it's between 16, 0.52 and 16.529. Um, the voltage, voltage ACCU, this is the voltage that's using to go into the batteries. Right now it's about 4.19. Okay, and as you can see on the display, it says 4.2. The current is the current that it's using to charge the battery. So right now you can see it's hovering, you know, anywhere between 0.6 and 0.4, so it actually dropped since we started. It started at 0.8, now it's dropped to 0.6. The capacity so far, so this is basically, yep, zero, we started at zero, uh, you know, assumably, and then now we're at 100, 170 milliamp hours. So that'll keep, let me change the color on that, because that's hard to see. Let's go with like something like that. So you can see that. And the power, currently roughly around 2.6 watts, something like that. Energy, I don't know what this is, watt hours. And then these cell, these cell ones would work if we, have the balance, if we had the balancer lead plugged in, but we don't. And then the internal temperature of the unit and the external if I had it connected. So this is, this is really cool. I like watching, well, I don't like watching it, but I like knowing that I could, you know, just, if I was charging a bunch of battery packs and I wanted to see, you know, the discharge rate and compare it to another pack, you could save these and, and do that if, if you wanted to. So in, the, in this case, it's just cool to just have, you know, some sort of recording software that you can use. And obviously you can turn these all on. So that's pretty much that. There's a couple other views here. There's a table view, which I really like. This just shows you basically how long it's been operating, what's the input voltage, what's the current voltage to the battery, what's the current amperage, what's the capacity, power, everything we just looked at just in a table form. And this gives you <clears throat> a really accurate, you know, so over, you can say, okay, so over five minutes here, we have put in uh, 200, and, sorry, we have put in 188 milliamp hours. And then I'll just keep going. Then there's, there's other views you can use. I guess that's, that's the water, that's the amperage, and that's the milliamp hours. So those are pretty pretty cool. I, I haven't played with the software too much in order to determine what you can really do, if you can add things to these views. Here's another view. Right, so. And then there's compare curve. I'm not sure, maybe you can, you can bring in two different saved log files and do that. And then there's a, you can write comments. This is the logging of the unit and this is the debugging of the unit. So that's pretty good. And that's your connection light and that's your receive and transmit light and everything like that. So this is called LogView. This software is called LogView. You can download it from the internet. And also I would recommend uh, with any balance charger that you get to always upgrade the firmware. This thing has a firmware upgrader. So this is at the latest version. Like I said, this is a really old, this is a really old charger, probably back from 2010. It did not have the latest firmware on there, so I put that on there. So far it's working good. I'm just wondering why, you know, we can't charge at a higher rate, why it's not charging at a higher rate. Cause this, this battery should be able to take quite a bit of current before it hits the constant current um, part of the charging. So I'm gonna do some research on that and try to figure that out. Um, you know, cause charging, you know, this way at half an amp is gonna take a while. Better for the battery, of course. Your battery is going to last longer. The temperature is not going to get as high. Uh, you're going to get more cycles out of it. But 
in a pinch if you wanted to charge a battery really quickly. Again, you'd have to go out of the LiPo mode and you'd have to go into something like nickel cadmium and, uh, and do it that way.